what is up guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing this kind of bloody avatar so i saw a lot of tiktok videos in which they have avatar and instead of doing the whole purple face or blue face i wanted to do like a flesh tone avatar so something of like my skin tone and then kind of make it more halloweenish to where i have scars and blood and stuff like that if you do want to make this um look look even 10 times better i suggest putting in context I tried putting it in context, it didn't work, <laughs> so for this look, this is exactly what it's going to look like, but if you do want to see exactly how I got that look, please stay tuned. Alright guys, so I did my eyebrows off camera, but first we're going to go into that Too Faced palette, this is the Appley in Love palette, and I'm going to take that color there and place it directly in my crease. Next I'm going to go into that same palette and use this shade and place this directly on my lids. The thing that I'm doing is I'm packing on as much product as possible because since this is a flesh tone avatar, I want to make sure I have a lot of contrast and contour that's going on. So this color is a couple shades lighter than mine and I just want to make sure it just works out perfectly. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a clean brush and just make sure I uh, blend out some of those harsh lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my lids. I'm just using a regular eyeliner pencil. And then next I'm going to put my eyelashes on off camera and do my face off camera as well. If you want me to show you guys how I did my face, please let me know. I'll go ahead and create a separate video so you guys can take a look at that as well. Next, I'm going to go back into the same palette and use this dark brown shade here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating the avatar stripes, I guess they're called. Um, now, the key thing here is to make sure that whenever you're doing the stripes, you have to start off kind of bigger towards the perimeter of your face. And as you get closer to the center of your face, you want to make sure it kind of thins out. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing so I just kind of look at a couple of reference photos just to get an idea of what I want everything to look like and I'm telling you guys I am not a professional by no means so just take your time and you can do this look as simple and easy as well just make sure you get a shade that is about like two shades darker than yours two to three shades darker so that you can actually see the stripes show up on camera but overall, I thought that this just came together so nicely. Um, it did take a while because I was like really anal on trying to make sure everything looked really good. So just, yeah, do the same. Take your time. <laughs> So I'm going in with that same shade and I'm going to go ahead and contour out my nose and I'm just taking that color all the way up toward my crease and I think it blends in really nicely. So when you do this, you're going to go ahead and get a clean brush and then blend that all out because you don't want harsh lines. So I noticed that the middle of my forehead was a little bit bare so I wanted to kind of create something that I saw in a few reference photos was like a really weird, how would you say, like almost like a diamond shaped stripe I guess. Um, some avatars have it, some don't. I really didn't understand which one did, which one don't. But it looked really cool so I wanted to actually put that right in the middle of my forehead as well and it was real simple just to do same way that you did the regular stripes you're going to do the same thing for this kind of diamond shaped uh, stripe in the middle so for the nose I'm going to go into my wet paint palette and I'm going to use those two shades there and place it on to my nose I wanted to still keep the flesh color look but I thought that this color was a little bit too bright so I went into the Appley and Love palette and then placed that shade directly on my nose just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Now I went back into the paint palette got this white shade and then now it's time for dots. 
So for the dots, you want to place them basically all over your face. <laughs> um, mainly kind of focus around the edges of your face is kind of what I see that avatar has. But however you feel that makes it look nice, that makes it you, just do whatever you want. Um, ideally, it is your creation. It is how you want to kind of, you know, do the look. So if you want the white spots everywhere, throw it everywhere, you know. Um, but just put it uh, alongside with the stripes and I think they just, it all just kind of comes together. So for the lips, I was a bit torn. I was thinking about maybe a brown kind of lip. But I was like, you know what, let me just do the same thing that I did with my nose. So I went back into that same palette, got those two pink colors and put that in the inner portions of my lips. I didn't put it all over because I wanted to still keep a little bit of that fleshy tone look. Um, but to make it more of a glamour look, you could definitely add, you know, some lip liner and make it your own type of thing. So I went in, got those two colors, and then went into the Appley and Love palette and then put that pink shade onto my lips just to kind of tone it down a little bit to make it look more realistic. So now on to the Halloween part. I'm going into that same face paint and grabbing the color red and then just starting to create a couple of scratches on my face. Then I'm going back in with the black eyeshadow and then just placing it right in the middle of those scratches just to give it a little bit more detail. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of blood coming out of the side of my mouth and then also blood coming out of my nose. And to finish it off, I'm going to go ahead and use some of that fake blood that I got from Spirit Halloween and add it to these scratch marks to make it more realistic. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Thank you all for watching. Please, if you do like this video, make sure you go ahead and thumbs up the video. Also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, alright, and click the notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a brand new video. And once again, guys, have an amazing Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.